Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and we have to cover more details about Green Heide and of course here the United States. Um, just for your information, this video was made before the um, official press conference in Germany. I will do a different video about that. Um, looking into Panasonic, Panasonic is going to build a new factory in Oklahoma. Um, this was something I was talking about two weeks ago already. Now it is, seems to be confirmed here. And so Tesla is going to get more batteries, better supply, um, especially when it comes to the 4680 battery cells as well. So um, Tesla is going to move forward here in the partnership with Panasonic and will get more supply, which is very exciting. And what is important as well for the 2170 cells, um, this will allow Tesla to have a better supply chain as Oklahoma is much closer than the factory they have together with Panasonic when it comes to the direction and distance to the Austin factory. So that is um, very good news. Um, talking about uh, Green Heide, um, there's going to be the press conference today at um, 3.30 p.m. German time, as I mentioned yesterday. And we have exciting news from Great Britain. Um, we see the Model Y with 1,306 cars um, right ahead of the Model 3 with 1,275 cars. Um, just take two into consideration the Model Y just started to be delivered. Um, we can assume that the numbers will be much, much better um, in the coming months. And I do believe that Green Heide at some point will produce for Great Britain as well. So the numbers will take over the market here. It is just a question of time, especially when it comes to the Model Y numbers. Looking into Shanghai, we have actually some good news here as well. Um, we have to see when the news is going to break because Elon Musk is in China right now. It, uh, it seems like he was in China at least and was meeting with the ambassador in China. And we might get some news here because it's not a usual thing that the Chinese ambassador is meeting with the um, private um, entrepreneur, so not with the government. So there seems to be something odd about that meeting that this is happening here. But it could also indicate that there are really big news that um, Tesla could be talking about. And um, maybe even because in the meeting FSD was a topic um, FSD launch in China could be happening and they might be just talking about all the um, yeah data that has to be staying in China and all this kind of topics we had in the past as well as construction happening here. If that is anything related to the factory um, Tesla might be building, we don't know that yet. Um, we will see what's happening here in the near future. We also have updates from Green Heide, and that is the main topic here of these videos, and we will look into them right now. So these informations are coming from Troy Tesla-like. Um, what is important to understand here, Tes uh, Tesla is able to produce around about 100 units per day in Green Heide right now, and it is suggested that the weekly production is currently at 500 per week. Um, again, the aim is to get to a run rate of 1000 a week by the end of April, which would be um, if everything works according to plan um, a 4000 um, car production per month. That is per quarter 12,000 cars. But again, if we're looking into the 2170 cells, which will be installed in those cars, um, they expect a three weeks of um, breakdown or um, pause of the production in Q3 or Q4. It could be starting in June 2022 um, so that they will um, focus on the 4680 production and move everyone over there and change the production at the same time. Um, the good news is that Shanghai will massively support the supply chain with 5,000 battery packs per um, week as far as I'm concerned here and the information is correct. That would mean that 15,000 per month, that is round about um, yeah, 30,000 if you add another 45,000 per quarter, um, that Tesla could be delivering here. Um, and this is pretty insane. I mean, that is actually pretty good. Um, so um, I do assume that um, Tesla can be producing a lot of cars here. 
um, as well as if we are looking into the giga presses here um, that is uh, 1250 per week um, if you add that up um, you get to a nice number as well which is like um, 5,000 in two weeks that is like 10,000 per month if you add that up it's like 30,000 per quarter I mean that is a nice capacity here um, the next thing is the battery cell um, 1 million were reached in cells it's supposed to be 2 million by March the capacity is still 10 gigawatt hours again as well a good um, sign that this will be reached soon and Giga Texas is currently not producing the 4680 cells um, but the machinery is installed so many many good news here um, when it comes to green hide and the capacity and the ramp up that can happen very very click quickly again just um, take into consideration I made this video right before the press conference in the afternoon so there might be some changes in the timeline again but um, it looks all good and Tesla is prepared and that is what I've mentioned many times on this channel that Tesla is using the time they have waited to get everything ready inside, to get everything going, to have a capacity, to ramp up very quickly, to um, be sure that the 2170 cells are able to come over here. So again, guys, that is very, very good news. Um, I do expect the Model Y performance to be produced um, right off um, the start and then as like in Austin, it could be an indication based on the capacity we have just um, seen. If that is true, Tesla could be moving to the Model Y long range very, very quickly here. And there was a time difference between the delivery dates for the Model Y long range moving into June already. And that could be an indication um, in Germany that the Model Y long range is coming soon to Germany as well from Germany for German and European customers. Looking into the shipments, um, we see more ships coming. We have one in Zeebrugge right now. Um, Amsterdam um, ship, RCC Amsterdam is going to come soon to Zeebrugge as well. And the Grand Dolphin is already on the way to the Suez Canal. And then the last one we have seen was the RCC Classic. So we have two up there and we have another five incoming. So a lot of cars, a lot of um, good weeks uh, ahead which we see here just um, take to in into consideration please that the um, situation in Euro Europe is very very tough right now um, a lot of car makers have issues to produce cars because of the Ukrainian war and um, we will have to see in which way that is affecting Tesla as well um, we hope for the best but hoping for Ukrainian people of course that is the most important thing thank you very much